It's easy to forget in our daily routines how amazing some of our abilities are. And one of such abilities is memory. Being able to recall and re-experience what belongs to the past has long fascinated scholars through the years. And it's one of those, those most debated topics in the field of neuroscience. One of the major theories in the field says that memories become stable through a process called consolidation. During consolidation, new memories which are temporarily stored in a region called the hippocampus, as you can see there, both in the rat and in the human brain, are gradually transferred to other parts of the brain to which we call the cortex. This is a process that in humans can go from weeks to years, and in which the role of the hippocampus is one of reshaping and reorganizing the activity in the cortex, so that with time, the memory becomes progressively independent from the hippocampus and fully allocated in the cortex. My work aims to find the importance of the hippocampus in driving these changes, in reorchestrating the activity in the cortex. To do so, I will monitor the brain activity of a group of rats, which are housed in an environment full of different stimulus, like different objects with different colors and shapes, and even music, which provide a rich environment to form new memories. Then I'll divide them into groups. One of the groups will undergo surgery, and I'll remove both hippocampus, and the other one will stay pretty much the same. No change will be made. So that by the end of it, I can compare both groups and how the activity in the cortex change, both in the ones without the hippocampus and the ones with the intact hippocampus. What I expect to observe is that in the animals without the hippocampus, there will be almost no changes in the activity in the cortex. However, in the animals with the intact hippocampus, I expect to observe continuous changes through the whole process because there's a hippocampus present to drive those changes and thus memory is being consolidated. Hopefully, this will shed some light on how memory consolidation as a process can be disrupted either in our normal aging process or due to any sort of accident and of course, in any sort of demential state in which there's memory loss, such as Alzheimer's disease. Thank you.